a spotting standpoint and a driver standpoint, uh, the training is uh, you know very similar. There are a few different controls in the electric vehicle, as you can imagine, over a diesel. So once the driver uh, gets that down, we train them on on the differences, and the and the driver is is ready to go. One of the things from a driver standpoint is the drivers much prefer being in an electric vehicle than a diesel. It's quieter uh, for that driver during the day. Um, it's cooler in the summer for the driver and it's warmer in the winter for the driver. So the drivers really prefer, once the drivers have tried the electric vehicle, um, it's hard to get them back in a diesel. As far as torque and power, the electric vehicles have just as much torque as any diesel, so there's never an issue with, with power. Uh, Orange EV Tandem has been uh, a, a great uh, truck for us. So it's less wear and tear over the length of its life. So a, a tandem axle spotter should last longer than, than a single axle, require less maintenance, uh, all, all set. We, we work with our customers. Uh, we work with Orange V on, on the ordering process. And wherever we can uh, utilize an electric vehicle, we, we try to work with that customer and uh, get the proper uh, plan in place where, where they can utilize an electric as well. There's less emissions, well no emissions, as opposed to the diesel spotter. There's no fuel, no coolant. Haven't had any issues with them breaking down, honestly. Yeah, the, the ride is definitely a lot smoother, a lot quieter. We just had an opportunity with Orange EV to actually purchase one and to facilitate it here at this site. Um, it is basically uh, helped with production. That planning took a little bit with an electric company to actually install some stuff and so it worked so it work adequately. Well, let's say it comes in in the morning, it'll already be charging for him and that's from the previous person. And then from there, uh, during the day, that driver, certain times of the day, will go and charge for 15, 20 minutes at a time uh, to keep the charge up. And then when he leaves, uh, somebody else comes in, and then that person will charge throughout the day. And then their shift ends, and then it'll actually be charged for three or four hours until the, the other person comes in during the day. So that's how they're doing it. One of the main things I hear uh, when a driver gets in it, or especially in the beginning, is it's so quiet. You know, you don't have that diesel engine. Uh, it's so quiet, you don't hear it coming sometimes. So that's that's one thing that's the first thing they notice. Uh, the other thing they notice is the, the ease of how the truck works. starting out brand new we decided that we could find more environmentally conscious pieces of technology um, because we were able to receive a grant through the Metropolitan Energy Center in conjunction with Orange EV we were able to procure this truck basically cut down on your emissions you cut down on um, you know, having to deal with more odor and especially with a wastewater plant uh, we already have odor concerns so also adding diesel on top of that is an issue but um, electric vehicle that kind of goes away, so. We use it for the solids building and solids processing, and we will hook this up to a trailer in the back, and we'll pull that, and that trailer will be taken away by uh, waste management or another company, and um, then we'll drive it back with a new trailer, have it load up again, and then same process. I've driven a straight truck for two years before this, and uh, I like this vehicle a lot because you don't, you get a lot of power into it without a whole lot of noise and it has a lot more pulling power than actually a straight truck would have and it's also a lot smoother of a ride.